we are asked to complete the table by converting each percent to a fraction. To convert a percent to a fraction, we first write the percent as a ratio with the denominator 100, and this should make sense because remember a percent means per 100. In the second step, we simplify the fraction if possible. Going back to the table, the first percentage is 45%, which means 45 per 100, and therefore as a fraction or ratio, we have 45 over 100. But now we need to simplify, because the greatest common factor between 45 and 100 is five, to simplify, we divide the numerator and denominator by five. 45 divided by five is equal to nine. 100 divided by five is equal to 20. 45% is equal to 9 twentieths as a fraction. Next we have 6% which means six per 100, and therefore as a ratio or fraction, we have six over 100. And now we simplify the fraction. The greatest common factor between six and 100 is two. To simplify, we divide six by two, and we divide 100 by two. Six divided by two is equal to three. 100 divided by two is equal to 50. Six percent is equal to three fiftieths as a fraction. Next we have 136%. 136% is equal to 136 over 100 as a fraction or ratio. And now we simplify. It may not be easy to determine the greatest common factor of 136 and 100, but because they're both even, we can begin by dividing the numerator and denominator by two. 136 divided by two is equal to 68. 100 divided by two is equal to 50. 68 and 50 are still both even. We can continue simplifying by dividing the numerator and denominator by two again. 68 divided by two equals 34. 50 divided by two is equal to 25. Now, the only common factor between 34 and 25 is one. The fraction is now simplified. 136% equals 34 25ths as a fraction. The last two percentages are a little bit different because we have a decimal here and a mixed number here. 64.2% as a ratio is equal to 64.2 over 100. But in fraction form, we cannot have a decimal in the numerator or denominator. So let's first write an equivalent fraction without a decimal. And because we have one decimal place here, we can multiply the numerator and denominator by 10 to include the decimal from the fraction. 64.2 times 10 is equal to 642. 100 times 10 is equal to 1,000. And now we simplify. Let's begin by dividing the numerator and denominator by two. 642 divided by two is equal to 321. 1,000 divided by two is equal to 500. This fraction does not simplify further. 64.2% is equal to 321 five hundredths as a fraction. And then finally we have three and three fourths percent. Three and three fourths percent is equal to three and three fourths over 100 as a ratio. But as a fraction, notice how this is a complex fraction so for the next step, let's write three and three fourths as an improper fraction. The denominator will remain four, and the numerator is four times three plus three, which is 15. Now remember from before, we know a fraction bar means division. This is equivalent to 15 fourths divided by 100. From here, remember, dividing by 100 is equivalent to multiplying by the reciprocal. So if we write 100 as a fraction, right now the denominator is one, and therefore instead of dividing by 100, let's multiply by one over 100. This is equivalent to 15 fourths times one over 100 or 100. Before multiplying, let's simplify. Notice 15 and 100 share a common factor of five. There are three fives in 15 and 20 fives in 100. And now we can multiply 
knowing the product is in simplest form. In the numerator we have three times one, which is three. In the denominator we have four times 20, which is 80. Three and three fourths percent is equal to three eightieths as a fraction. I hope you found this helpful.